call of the sea. Small fingers on the window ledge, his tip to chin leaves him up to his cold nose and misty bottom pins. Eyes transfixed, pecking past the railway line, steel lines, the dockyard derricks are not knitting a balaclava for the sea. Flashes of mercurial water, funnels colouring dock to dock, the ships of cargo weave the wharf of this brief encounter. It is murmuring to the boy, but he cannot quite decipher the signal sound, as the sirens of the sea snap back his eye, the pilot tugs swing around the visage of land to sea, where you must go, for then the whole wide world will open up to thee. Falls back the boy to blink away the flash of the horizon, where he has never been. Three wooden crocodiles freeze, the ivy elephant's paws trunk to tail, iridescent butterfly wings hold powdery sad under the cracked glass of a tray. Oriental thought on from the sea, where seamen sail to lands and people far away. The ukulele splices the main brace of the boy's tether to the land. Face back hard to the window, his entrails entreat the pilot, wait for me, wait for me. The salt is in his veins, enthralled the more his uncle's tales of Jolly Jack Tar and Singapore, for he knew what they did not, but suspected from the glint in the eye of the boy who felt the fall of rivers to the sea. The sailor salt has woven its spell, way past the docks, the sea ebbs, and again against the hillside the boy intones, I have made my choice, it is the sea for me. The South China Sea, the Indian Ocean, the trade winds, Cape Horn, the high seas, from Arctic to Antarctic, the storm petal thoughts will deny him rest until he too has sailed the seven seas.